What's going on guys? Play by Play Gaming here back with another Epic 7 video and today we're going over the update for June 10th, 610. Here we go. We got episode 37S. We're getting Lafundos of the Past. So we're actually going to be able to complete that last mission, I believe, to be able to unlock the boots or the slippers. I think it was one of those. Um, but uh, along with that, we're getting the chest destruction piece. So hopefully... Uh, we can unlock this and we don't have to do the trusted, but uh, maybe we do. I, I, I don't know. We'll, I guess we'll see. Maybe we can't get these last pieces until everything has been completed. Uh, but let's see. We, reaching 300 and trust level will reward the player with, uh, we get a frame. We get some transmit stones, green transmit stones, and then a background. So that's actually pretty nice. So maybe in this one, we actually can get the trusted level and then we'll be able to uh, unlock the uh, those slippers, which actually looked really nice in the previous uh, chapter, but we do have Bunny K Run. Bunny K Run, I know he was a fan favorite when they did Tea Time, and uh, Fairy Tale Tenebra came out with that background. All those characters in there, we're actually going to be able to pick him up in the Epic Pass, which is nice. I always recommend picking up the Epic Pass just because of the value. You do get a bunch of stuff in the Epic Pass, which is always really, really helpful. You get bookmarks, you get gold transmit stones, you get a bunch of stuff. So definitely pick it up if you can. It's 900 Sky Stones uh, just for the Epic Pass. However, if you, if you do want the skin, for Bunny k -Ron or Time Rabbit k -Ron, which they're calling them, it's 1800 So essentially you're paying the 900 for the Epic Pass and then 900 just for the skin. It doesn't unlock k -Ron. You do have to have the unit in order to be able to use a skin. However, you can always unlock the skin and then whenever you end up pulling k -Ron, uh, you can always apply it to him. So that's actually really, really nice. Uh, we do get a bunch of leaves and stuff. So I definitely recommend pulling, well, not pulling, but buying the Epic Epic pass it's, it's just very very much worth it so as you can see there uh, you can apply the skin it looks pretty cool it's it's a nice little change it, it keeps with the theme hopefully they end up releasing the rest of the skins uh, in that little uh, uh, tea time bunch fairy tale to neighbor bunch so moving on exclusive equipment we are getting three new exclusive equipment the first one is the one that I'm most excited about which is uh, fire forehead Charlotte if you've ever seen any of my videos you know I've been using fire forehead for a pretty decent amount uh, recently she's been one of my favorite units and uh, I'm I'm really excited to see what she has for her exclusive equipment so she's getting up to 14% health which is really nice uh, the dual swords increases chance to decrease attack by 10% when using dual swords that's her s1 uh, she gets uh, a skill on the passive after being attacked increases combat readiness. That one could be potentially really, really nice. I'm, I'm actually thinking about running this one. Uh, and the S3 here, Vortex, dispels two debuffs from the caster before the skill effect when using Vortex. So she has a uh, partial cleanse. I mean, for the most part, you're going to get two debuffs unless you're going up against someone that can hit you with three, which aren't that many units. But uh, of course, I think both of these two are definitely going to be her best in slot, depending on how you run her. I'm going to try out the second one. I might still pull for a copy of the S3 just because it's almost a full cleanse. If you're provoked or something like that, don't have immunity for whatever reason. Uh, this can definitely help her shake that off for her next turn, which is uh, which is really, really nice. And so Mort is getting an exclusive equipment up to 14% health, so seven to 14%. Uh, these, they don't look, they don't look great. <laughs> they don't look great for more. It increases chance to decrease defense, so that's his S1 by 10%. Absolute Dignity extends the duration of the increased critical hit resistance buff by one turn, so it increases the critical hit resistance, uh, the time that you have for that uptime, and then Advent, his S3, damage dealt increases by 10%. Uh, yeah, I mean you are getting essentially more damage or more damage pool because he is getting an increase to his health And then I guess if you go with the s3 You're doing a little bit more damage, but again, I don't know Maybe the the s2 this the passive one is gonna be his best in slot. I don't know I guess we'll see how people test them out four star Angie is getting an exclusive equipment so not only is she free from connections for new players but she's also getting an exclusive equipment, which gives her 10 speed. 
that's pretty nice that's really really nice uh so she's getting s1 holy strike increases combat readiness of the ally except for the caster with the highest attack by 15 percent when using holy strike that's that's actually really nice so every time she goes with her s1 not only does she have a chance to stun but she pushes by 15 percent your your ally with the highest attack that's pretty nice for wyvern she was my wyvern tank for the longest time and so now every time that she goes with her s1 she's she's got like a built-in idols cheer which is really nice guide of the goddess so the last two are her s3 increases the amount recovered by 15 percent uh, or it dispels one debuff from all allies after using guide of the goddess that's actually i i think all three of these are really viable um you're getting increased combat readiness s3 more hp healing and then the third one here it's a it's a partial cleanse so it's like a little cleanse right so one debuff which is still really nice so uh definitely worth the pickup if you're brand new and uh, and you're using angie as like your your main healer your main wyvern tank definitely going to make her a bit faster uh help with the sustain or just to push up your damage healer which is really nice and so you'll be able to buy those uh from the alchemist steeple or roll for them in the alchemist steeple so i mean I'm for sure going to pick up myself uh, the Fire Forehead one. So the Fire Charlotte one. So here we go. K-Ron, Shepherd of the Hollow Raid Up. So with Bunny K-Ron or Time Rabbit K-Ron, whatever you want to call him, uh, he is getting a Raid Up. Definitely a pass, in my opinion. Not a meta hero. Not anyone that you really need to pull for. I think that you can kind of get away with uh, with really skipping him unless you are farming counter gear. So if you're going uh, straight Banshee route, then I mean, he is great for anti-cleave uh, just because he can't get one shotted that easily. There are ways to do that, but um, it does take some setup. So that's something to consider. All right, moving on. All right, along with that, we did get a Mystic Summon Rotation Preview. So along with Infernal Kawazu, we are getting the five-star Moonlight Hero Ruel of Light. So if you were thinking about choosing her from Connections, here you go. If you're if you were planning on pulling for Infernal Kawazu, which looks amazing, by the way, his kit and his design looks really cool. Uh, you do have a chance at pulling yourself a Ruel. And along with that, they did show on the live stream the new Ruel skin. And so this is gonna be uh, the one that we're gonna get in RTA for reaching up to Masters. So if you already have a Ruel, if you plan on getting Ruel, I would highly recommend that you pick up uh, the skin, which will have to do by reaching Masters in RTA. It actually looks really, really nice. It gives her, I, I would say, a way better appearance. Uh, I definitely am digging the color scheme, so kind of like that white and black theme. And uh, I mean, she actually has uh, teeth in this one. She she actually has a full set of teeth uh, instead of like the you know the chipmunk look. So I'm kind of excited to see what her new facial expressions will be. But she still has those like really really big eyes and the and the and the smile right there like the crazy smile. So uh, that's gonna be it for today's update. Let me know your thoughts on whether you're gonna be pulling for Kron. Do you have Kron? Are you gonna be picking up the skin? Uh, I know I'm gonna go ham on the ruel skin trying to get to masters it shouldn't be that tough uh just make sure that uh, you do have a pretty good set of units and uh you know play as many games as you can so you can try to get up there but like always let me know your thoughts about everything that's going on so far no collab news no collab news unfortunately let me know your thoughts about everything in the comment section below like always, if you haven't enjoyed the video, hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed, hey, think about subscribing. It really helps the channel grow and reach more people like you who like content like this. Like always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace.